What is going on? Bitwise guy here, and today we are going to be having a look at League of Legends on Linux. I've been playing League of Legends on Linux now uh, on Ubuntu 1604, 1504, uh, 1404. I think I started playing it when around 1404 was there around. Um, but essentially, I play on I play on Linux through Wine. Uh, and my experience has been pretty good. I think it actually works quite well. Now, um, just a, a few things I want to say about this while um, while I'm logging in here is that there are some performance issues with League of Legends on Linux. I don't experience them so much, but I have a fairly high-end system. Um, but obviously, the, if the higher end of a system you get, the more... Um, performance that you'll get out of the game, um, but m for the most part, the performance issues are nowhere like what they seem in the recording. Um, I wasn't using OpenGL Capture through OBS uh, because I wanted to capture the environment of uh, Linux just, I don't know, I guess to show some authenticity or whatever else, but uh, as you can see on the screen here, the, um, the client works fine. Uh, Riot has announced that they're moving to a, um, a new client. Uh, I don't exactly remember what the framework... Ah, sorry, it is. It's Electron Framework, my bad. So they're moving to an Electron Framework. Um, for those of you who don't know what Electron Framework is, Electron is basically a HTML5 CSS JavaScript framework for building desktop applications. Um, and that will be moving on to Windows and Mac. Um, and Electron is supported on Linux natively. So I'm sure with some pretty simple tweaking, we'll be able to have a native client for Linux. Obviously, there's no guarantee there, but, you know, that would be really nice, really nice to have, even if it was just community done. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just launching a custom game. Uh, all of the issues that used to be surrounding playing on Linux, uh, League of Legends through Wine and stuff, uh, seem to have all been resolved. I don't have any sort of in-game visual bugs or whatever else. Um, I will be making a tutorial for exactly how that this works. Um, how to install it, how to overcome some of the issues, like with the store and whatever else. Um, there are some bugs in the store, um, but let me just quickly tell you some things that don't work because uh, most 99% of the game works perfectly how you would expect it to run. Um, some bugs are authenticating with the store requires a really strange workaround. Um, I can't remember exactly why it causes it to work, but it just does. It's not too difficult and it's definitely not a pain in the ass. Um, it's just you got to get used to using the store like that. Um, the second thing is that if you are on an AMD graphics card and you do not have the proprietary drivers installed, um, and I don't, I don't want people, uh, and they definitely shouldn't be installing the proprietary drivers because them and themselves suck and are bu really buggy and known to cause issues. But if basically if you're running an AMD graphics card, uh, there tends to be a performance lag uh, the further into the game that you get. Uh, I have a feeling that this is something to do with the open source drivers, like caching uh, memory or something. I have a fairly decent graphics card. I have a 280X R9, um, but I know that this is not the case from my testing with the GTX series cards. Um, I stay consistently at about 250 frames with my GTX card in my system. Uh, right now, I'm running my AMD graphics card. Um, I kind of swap between the two for graphics development. Uh, my CPU is a um, AMD FX 6100. I don't. I think it's 6100, um, but it's overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. Um, so again, that probably helps me a little bit. Um, but as you can see on the screen here, map works, shop works, everything works in game, uh, just as you would expect it to work. Um, the install process is um, actually not too difficult. I did it through Play on Linux, um, so all the scripts and stuff run automatically for you. And then I found some workarounds um, specifically, I guess, maybe it's for my environment, maybe it's just for all Ubuntu installs. Um, but I, I found that those things uh, really helped me um, kind of cement the experience on Linux. Um, it's a real shame that uh, Riot doesn't uh, have a client for Linux. I understand why they don't. We're such a very small minority of players that it's really not worth it for them. Um, but it would be really cool if they would at least, um, I guess, release a client uh, that, I guess, is supported more through Wine. Uh, for example, TeamViewer did something like that where before they had a native client for Linux, they had a um, they had a supported Wine client, which was the binary executable package with all the fixes and stuff to run on Linux fine. Um, the game is so close as you guys can see already, um, obviously there's some performance lag through OBS, but um, the game is so close already that all they would have to do really is uh, release the client itself uh, native to Linux uh, and uh, some other minor performance fixes for Wine. Um, and that would literally cement everything. Anyway, um, stay tuned for this tutorial on how to get this all up and running. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon.